Hello everybody. This is going to be one of my quickest videos ever. Uh, I'm really happy right now. I just uh, purchased one of these uh, ZWO stepper motors, this automatic focusers, and I connected it up today and it seems to work fine. So uh, let me just show you what I did real quickly and uh, that'll be it. All right, well, there it is all nicely mounted on my telescope. I'm going to try not to make it too, so you're not getting too dizzy here looking at my thing around here. And here's the underside of it. And you'll see it has a bracket that connects up with it. And basically, I took the uh, focus knob, the large focus knob off. And there is there is a couple set screws in these focus knobs I didn't know about but anyways I found it take them off the knob comes right off and then you just uh, there's a little sleeve I can't know if you can see it there that Zeb gives you they give you they actually give you like four of those things and you just match up the one that fits your uh, focuser and slide it on screw that in and it's all set okay I'm back I've got Astrophotography Tool open, and what I did was I went on to the ZWO website, downloaded the driver. I also downloaded the manual. They give you a manual uh, here, and it looks like this. It's pretty thorough. Naturally, the directions for Astrophotography Tool aren't here, but, uh, oh well, it had some other programs, uh, general ASCOM stuff. Anyhow, let's close that off. Do you really want to close? Close all the tabs. So when you go on to gear, you'll see there's the focuser. You just press connect the focuser. And when you go to settings, this doesn't appear. You had to go look for it. Uh, I can't do it. I can't mimic it right now. But there was nothing There was nothing written here, so you had to select it. And because I had the driver, the, the it showed uh, the ZWO. And then what you do is just set this to zero whatever reading is here just set it to zero and then you're good to go here's the advanced setting but I didn't have to adjust anything else and press OK and then you're all set and when I first started it up or when I first you know started using this this step size was set at one and that's the smallest step size so when I kept pressing the buttons nothing was working so I'm like oh dear did I just waste my money anyhow I was doing some playing around and finally I said oh, let me move this thing to five and I started pressing it and I noticed the focus knob starting to move and so I upped it to 50 and uh, anyways that's what you have to do some of you that are really experienced with automatic focuses are probably laughing at me right now Anyways, uh, that's all I really have for you. Oh, I can show you one other thing here. They, they do have an automatic focus aid. So if you have an automatic focuser, you can use this to do focusing rather than a button off mask. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. We'll, we'll see. As I said, I'm just happy it works. It's cloudy out, so I really can't focus in on anything to see how it really works. Uh, but uh, whatever. As I said, I'm uh, just really happy it works. We'll see you later. Okay, one last thing. This is the stuff that's supplied with the EAF. And one thing that is missing is a power cable. And fortunately, I had the, I, I used the Pegasus pocket power uh, box. And that one had a uh, power cable that connects right up to this. But uh, that's about it. Uh, that's all I have. As I said earlier, this was not meant to be a tutorial. This was more or less just an informational thing because I was really excited that everything worked. We'll see you later.